Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. I'm here in Hongdae today and I want to take you to some special places as always. So first of all, we're going to go here to Arena Ramen. Now this place is listed in the Michelin Guide and it's been put in the guide for a number of years purely because their food is reasonably priced and it's supposed to be outstanding quality. So I'm here a little past 11 a.m. and the place looks a little bit quiet. I've heard that the crowds do gather here and it gets quite busy. So um, let's go inside before the place gets mobbed and I've got nowhere to sit. Okay, so they've sent me down quite quickly. Uh, first thing you do is you order outside. There's an uh, electronic screen menu. Uh, they recommended that I choose the first one, which is a signature dish, and this is a creamy version. The second one is going to be a spicy broth, um, but I think go for the original, try what that, that one's got to offer. Service is really, really quick, like I say. First thing I'm going to do is just get my chopsticks and some tissue and give this a try. So looking at the broth, it's got a really deep rich chicken smell to it. The broth is actually really quite thick. Let's try the broth first. Oh wow, it's like a really creamy chicken soup. I've never had anything quite like this. Wow, absolutely delicious. Uh, the noodles and everything else are going to be as good as this then I'm going to be really really happy because the price wasn't too bad I'm hoping that they are quite firm these noodles because that's my preference when I'm eating ramen They are really firm really nice kind of delicate The soup flavor the ramen broth just sticks to them quite nicely. I think this is pretty special and I'm really impressed Digging in a little bit more, you can see that there's some chicken and this is super tender by the looks of things because the way that moves in my chopsticks it wobbles a little bit. Wow, I've never had chicken like this. I think this is really good quality chicken, I'm guessing it's not your, your savour menu type of chicken from uh, Aldi or wherever, Morrison's. This one's really 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 tender, it must have been cooked sous vide or something. Delicious. I'm so happy with that. I opted for the char siu pork for an extra 2001, which is a little bit over a pound. And you get two slices of this. And this one looks really, really good. I don't know which one's better, to be honest. The chicken is super tender, juicy, full of flavor. But the pork is, is another level really nicely seasoned and um, melts in the mouth. Wow. Very, very happy. Just look at these noodles. Like I said before, this chashu pork is super, super tender. Just look at that. It just breaks apart on my chopsticks. Absolutely beautiful. So I can say already, if you're going to go for this meal, order the chashu pork, if you can, 2001. It's a no-brainer, really. I don't know which one's better, the chicken or the pork. I think probably I'll go for the, the pork. It's just too good. Mm. Of course, there's a healthy looking egg here. I, I don't want to spoil it by poking it, but I guess I have to. I think it's going to go everywhere. I'm just breaking it open in a really ugly way, but I can see that see that the egg is really 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 gooey 
and almost like a little jelly inside. It's delicious. I really, really like this kind of egg. This is the kind of egg that you want when you eat your ramen. Mm. It's really creamy, really tasty. Goes really well with the chicken bone. That's really delicious. So it's not the first time I've eaten ramen in Seoul. The last time I came to Hongdae, I did actually eat in a, a Michelin guide ramen place, and that was really good. But I think this one's far better because in terms of noodles and ramen soup, this one is pretty similar, but the difference is in the protein that they use. The chicken here, I didn't try chicken at the other one, by the way. Um, I tried the chashu pork. The chashu pork here, far more tender and flavorful than the one I had it at uh, the other place in Hongdae. So I'd recommend this one over the other. The other one's good, don't get me wrong, but yeah, this one, I think this would be hard for me to beat ever anywhere. So definitely recommend. The vibe of this place is really chill. You've got some staff members who are serving behind like a little bar area where you, you can sit there and eat as well. They've sat me at the, the, the window, which is great because I need a little bit more space to film. I would probably eat there at the bar if I was on my own in future, purely because it, I like to save a bit of space and I like to take a table for two. This place is getting quite busy. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. So my thoughts on Oreno Ramen, I really want to come back here again. I want to try the spicy one. I want to have more char siu pork because that was outstanding. Everything about the place screams quality. I saw the way that the chefs in the kitchen were preparing the food and everything was being prepared with love. I really can't recommend this place enough and uh, I'm excited to come back in the future. So where to next? I guess it was a big enough portion for lunch, but was it big enough to keep me, keep me from eating anything else? No. I do have a large appetite today, so let's see what the next place brings, or places. I might go to several. Uh, depends. Okay, so I've just been here at Kaka Friends just to buy a little gift for somebody back home. And the nice thing about this place is, even though I spent a small amount of money, less than 10 pounds, they give me this for free. Nice. Let's give it a try. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, okay. All right, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. So I'm not allowed to eat in the store, but I'll eat out here. Wow, it's 20 degrees today. It's not as hot as it was in previous days and subsequent days to come are gonna be even hotter. But this is a welcome, welcome relief from all the heat and the hot weather we've been having. This is really delicious. Mm. So I've arrived at the next place, which is Cafe Aotori, and I probably said that wrong. If so, please forgive me and send me a comment telling me of my mistake, and I'll try not to make it in future. But this place is a Japanese bakery, and this is probably in keeping with the earlier video that I did, which was ramen. Both of these are Japanese places in Korea, so please don't hate me for that. I just like eating where there's good food available and this place I've heard is no exception. So let's have a look inside. So this place is basically a cute little cafe slash bakery. At the entrance, you pick up the 
trays with the paper and you get a set of tongs and then you just go around picking up what you like and there's quite a vast variety of things to choose from. Uh, quite happily I've picked three items, can't wait to have them. So the first one I've picked is this one which is the yakisoba bread, a bit unusual. It's basically bread with noodles in, carb and carb, my favourite combination. Then we've got some melon pang, which is melon bread. I'm quite looking forward to this one as well. I have this one in the UK all the time when I go to Chinese bakeries. I've got a feeling this one will be a little bit more special. It's, well, it'll be special because this place is special and I think things taste better when you're in nice surroundings. Lastly, I picked up this thing. I wasn't quite sure what it was, but I saw there was cream in it. And when I read the description a bit closely, I could see that it's Earl Grey tea, which is one of my favorite types of tea. I think that'd be really good. And finally, a cafe latte. Iced because it's a hot day, why not? The thing about Korea is everything they do regarding coffee is really good. And this is no exception. This is really, really delicious. Really good. I'm going to try my best to make this as appealing as possible when I cut through, just so I can show you the nice cross-section of noodles and bread. So actually, there's quite a lot of noodles in there, and on the top, it looks to be some pickled ginger. Let's try it. Right. That's actually really, really good. The uh, the noodles inside, they're actually well cooked. They're not they're not soggy. They're not too hard. There's a nice flavour of the ginger that cuts through, and you've got the nice little bit of lettuce that gives it an extra bit of texture on top of this really quite well made fluffy bread. I think this is really great, and this is the first time I've tried yakisoba bread, and it won't be the last because this kind of food is right up my alley. It's really, really good. Next up is this little Earl Grey tea. Ah, I thought this was a base, but actually it's part of the, the bread itself. Mm. I wasn't expecting this part to be caramelized and a little bit chewy. I thought it'd be a bland kind of bread, but actually it's really, really delicious. And when I tear through consistency, is slightly more dense than I was expecting. Mm. Good amount of chewiness, very, very slightly seasoned, and the sugar on the top gives it a sweet flavor. Not try the cream yet, and let's try that now. That's delicious. I don't know if this is actually cream or if it's buttercream itself, it's not as light as I thought it would be, but it is light. Full of flavour, it's delicious, and cream itself is a slight bit yellow, so that leads me to believe that it's butter-based, but it doesn't taste unhealthy. It does actually taste quite light. Mm. This is my new favourite thing. I could eat a dozen of these, I think. I'll buy some more to take home with me. Last but not least is the melon bread. It's quite small. It feels quite firm and crispy. Probably you can't hear that. I think it's going to be quite special when I tear through. Oh yeah. Look at that. Let's try. Wow. I don't know what it is, but it's super fragrant. It's sweet. Bread is really fluffy. It's really delicious. Not as sweet as I thought it would be, but it's got a real delicate flavor to it. Mm. The crumble on the top, so thin and flaky. Inside is, is very fluffy and airy. This is the perfect melon bread. I wish I had this in the UK. I'd buy these every day for sure. Wow. That cafe was really good. I'm quite pleased that I made the trek over there. It was about 20 odd minutes from the ramen place. Well worth the visit. If you like your baked goods, then that's your place to, to go to. I did actually buy some more things, take home with me. I will be eating those later. 
It's really not good for my diet in Korea. I thought I'd been really good. I've been trying to make lots of steps the last few days, doing at least 15,000 steps each day and eating moderation, but I'm actually putting weight on. Who cares? You only live once. Just enjoy yourself and eat as much as you want because there's no point really. You live and then you die. But I'd rather die happy. So let's move on to the next place. So this is the last place I want to visit today, Blue Bottle Coffee. I've wanted to come here for a number of years, but I now have the chance. So let's go inside for a drink and a snack. So I'm here in Blue Bottle Coffee and this is my first time I've ever been here. I've heard that it's quite a popular, pretty cool place and well I thought I'd try the coffee. <laughs> this is called Blue Bottle Coffee. It didn't come in a bottle, it's come in a glass. I'd have to say for 6,600 won it seems a bit pricey to be honest but the proof is in the drinking so let's drink. It's good. I think it's really quite tasty. Is it worth 6,600 won? I don't know, to be honest. I think I've had better coffees. I think the coffee I had at the last place, the Cafe Bakery, was actually a lot deeper in flavor, uh, a lot more of my sort of coffee. But to be honest, there's a nice vibe, a nice atmosphere in this place. It's pretty chill. Yeah, a bit pricey, but I don't mind it. Now, the other thing is, is I ordered this little financier. A little bit expensive as well, considering how much you're paying for it. And it's a little bit tougher than I thought it would be, trying to cut through. Looks quite crumbly inside. There's a thick layer of chocolate on the outside, which is quite hard. Um, I was told that there was some sort of fruit jelly going through the center, but I can't see any. I just have to see if I can taste it. Mm. Wow, that's a pleasant surprise. It's quite delicious. I wasn't expecting it to, uh, to taste like that. There is a thick layer of chocolate, but there's some crispy bits inside running through the middle. Uh, I think you can see them on the surface there. Actually quite nice. Can't taste any fruit or jam going through the middle. Maybe, ah, no, I can. If you look carefully at the bottom there, you can see some sort of jelly. And let me just try it again, see if I can taste that. Mm. It's definitely there that time. It's not too sweet, it's rather subtle. Kind of like a marmalade. I feel bad because on first appearances, looking at the cakes and desserts, they're quite expensive. Combined total of what I've eaten here today is almost as much as I've had for that ramen, which is a Michelin guide restaurant. But you can't always compare. These aren't like for like. It's comparing apples with oranges. So actually, I'd like to revisit what I said earlier about the coffee. It's a bit of a weird thing, but the more I drink this, the more enjoyable it actually is. I probably shouldn't have judged it so quickly because I think it's actually quite delicious. Sometimes it's a bit soapy when you're drinking lattes in certain places, but this one doesn't actually have any real strong taste. It is it is more on the bitter side. It's not fruity. It is quite light, but I think this one is quite a fine glass of coffee. Bit of a weird thing for me to change my mind halfway through, but I do like it. It's a bit of a weird one. It's grown on me a lot more than I thought it would. I'd definitely come back here again, yeah, for sure. And I definitely have that chocolate financier because it was rather special. I can't quite put my finger on why, but it was finely crafted. It had a delicious taste of chocolate, uh, jam running through, and the pastry inside was a little bit crumbly, but weirdly moist and quite tasty. Yeah, blue bottle coffee, I'm a fan. <laughs> 
So there you have it. This is just a small snippet of Hongdae. Hope you enjoyed the video. I've enjoyed walking around Hongdae today. It's quite a vibrant area. There's lots to see, lots to do. Definitely a must visit if you come to Korea, if you come to Seoul, if you like street food, if you like cafes, if you like odd quirky restaurants and bars, this is the place to visit. So thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.